Hi, Anthony DeMombro here with a quick video on how to check over a bow for parents of young musicians. So I always encourage my customers to carefully check over their bow when it's being dropped off or picked up after service. And most of the time it's the player, but often enough I do get parents in the shop that are you know, doing the dropping off or picking up. And so when I do ask a parent to carefully check over the bow, one of the most common responses is they don't know what to look for and they don't know what to check for. So I'm going to give you guys a bare minimum kind of rundown of what to check on a bow. So here I have a violin bow and I just kind of like to start at the head and work, work my way down the stick. At the head there is a block that holds the hair in place and so we want to check that that's, this block is for, properly seated in the head and that it's holding the hair properly. So sticking out up from the head, all we should see is the thickness of the hair kind of coming up. Uh, it shouldn't be much taller than that. If it is, it means the block isn't seated all the way down. If we also look at the head like this, we want to make sure that the hair is spread the entire width of the mortise, that there is no clumping or gaps in the hair. From there, I like to just sight down the stick, uh, just make sure that, you know, it's pretty clean and uh, most of the buildup of rosin is taken off. And down here at the frog end of the stick, um, most bows are branded with some name, either the name of the maker or the shop it's from, um, on one side or the other. And I think as a parent, it's one of the easiest ways to identify the bow to make sure that it's the correct bow we're dropping off, as some young players have more than one bow. Um, we want to make sure it's the correct bow that we're picking up. I've seen young students swap bows with their stand partners or their teachers, so we want to make sure too that you know we have the correct bow. Um, from here, we want to check the frog. At the frog, this metal part is called the ferrule. And underneath the ferrule, underneath the hair, is a wooden wedge that holds the hair. The idea is, is that it's supposed to hold the hair the entire width of the ferrule. Um, and we can take a look at it like this. I'll hold it up. That piece of wood in here, right there, is holding the hair. It's important that, like I said, it's holding the hair the entire width of the ferrule and that it's not you know, protruding out this way. It should be seated pretty much flush with the ferrule. So from here, we can tighten the bow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six turns on this bow, gets it up to you know playing tension. Um, and what we're checking right now is that the ribbon of hair is at an even tension, that there are no hairs kind of drooping down, um, you know, kind of stray hairs st sticking out. So this bow looks good. And as I tighten or, and loosen, um, it should feel smooth. There should be no clicking. It shouldn't be hard to tighten. As you can see, it's really easy for me to tighten, really easy for me to loosen. Um, when the bow is loose all the way, um, you, the button is coming out a little bit. Um, that means you can't loosen it anymore. So uh, you can kind of feel it disengage. But when the bow is loose all the way, the frog will be touching the grip on most bows. And with that, when a bow is freshly rehaired, at least here in Michigan, we like the hair just about touching the stick. If there's a little bit of gap, it's okay. On cello bows, um, most of the time, there's gonna be a gap. Something like, maybe something like this on some cello bows. So on a cello bow, it doesn't necessarily touch the stick, but on violin bows in Michigan, we like to see it you know, touching the stick or just a little bit of uh, a gap, and that's fine. So that's pretty much it. You know, checking the head, the stick, the brand, the frog, the ferrule, um, the wedge in the ferrule, and just the tension of the hair and that it tightens and loosens carefully. So just taking a few moments to check over a bow I think is important for our young players to make sure that the bow is in good working condition. It really sets them up for success. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to talk more about bows. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for you and thank you for your time.